Hello, good morning, and welcome to Coffee with Kira. Today I have my Mothman mug. I have no idea if you've seen that one recently or not. I don't keep track. <laughs> uh, today is the week, weekend before Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, and uh, Native American Heritage Day, so that's exciting. Uh, I like Thanksgiving a lot. Um, yeah, I like food. I like all the fall feels. I like sitting around. It's, it's a chill holiday for me and my family. Whereas like Christmas, there's all the hustle and bustle and everything, but Thanksgiving and like Halloween is a whole big event too. But Thanksgiving is just like chill family time. Of course, I'm not the one preparing like the turkey and all the fancy food and everything. Um, so maybe my feelings about Thanksgiving will shift as I become the host of that event, but we'll see. For now, I just enjoy kicking back and relaxing and eating food with my family. So I hope you have similar uh, feelings about Thanksgiving. Today, I have some fun knitting to share. I don't think that my brother and his girlfriend watch this. If you guys are watching somehow, and it's before Christmas, spoiler alert, I'm about to show your presents. So, I uh, got my sweater all finished. Sweaters are all done. And I got some gift miss knitting done. Cute! It says Chihuahua. These are for my brother's girlfriend. She has tiny hands, so my hands are pretty small. They're not giant, but these are like a unisex size, so uh, women's. So I think they will probably be kind of massive on her, but she lives in Colorado, so she can wear gloves under them and they will be plenty cozy. So that was super fun. I really love color work. That's um, where you, you make the little pictures in the yarn or in your project. Um, and mittens are like a perfect, easy, quick size to make, um, make some, make a quick color work project. So, um, I'm definitely gonna make more color work mittens in the future. Um, there's just really not an occasion to wear them around here because it never gets cold enough for them, but Alaska someday. Uh, and then for my brother, this is a hat pattern that I've made a couple of times and I just love it. It's brioche, which is uh, what this stitch is. It's a double-sided stitch. It actually looks better from, I think it looks better on this side. I think I like that leafy. But the pattern does show up better on this side. But anyway, the point is it's a double-sided stitch. And uh, I've made, like I said, I've made this hat pattern a couple of times now and I can, once I get going, I can basically do it without looking at the pattern, which is nice. So I love uh, working with brioche. It moves a little slower because you have to knit um, each color you eat you knit each round twice basically because you knit with one color and then with the other um, so it moves a little slower than a normal hat pattern would but I mean this is like four days of work so it's it's moving right along I'll have it done by next week so that's that's the latest on the knitting news I also um, did some more sewing stash my stuff but I'm feeling lazy so I'm not gonna get up and show you if you are really curious I think I've got a picture over on my um, Instagram in my stories in um, knitting I think because I was wearing a scarf I knit um, with the skirt that I'm currently wearing which is a umbrella fabric and I made myself an a-line skirt so and with that, I put away my sewing stuff for the rest of the calendar year. We took the leaf out of our dining room table behind us and the space just feels much like more peaceful and put away and 
like there isn't just stuff everywhere so that's a good feeling especially going into the holidays uh and i the other project i got to this week was uh framing so i i love reclaimed frames just go to goodwill and grab a bunch of frames doesn't matter what's in it because you're gonna replace it so this is old bear i don't think i've really talked about him much he uh, is kind of based on that bear guy that is in um, that Coen Brothers version of True Grit. Um, this The background is based on a photo I took in Alaska. And he's, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to call it like, um, you know, old bear of the mountain or mountain bear or at one point I was calling it uh, whatever the, the local tribe's name for mountain bear was or bear person anyway i i've just settled on old bear because that's easiest for me to remember i'm not good at remembering complicated uh uh art titles but so old bear not much to him he just looks cool and he's in an awesome frame and i, I framed a bunch of work but i'm just going to show you a couple this is the golden calf that you saw a couple weeks ago I think I am calling it a uh, religious cow. Yes, meant to be a little bit offensive. But nice gold frame to go with the golden calf there. And then I um, shared this piece with y'all in last week's email. It's the image I used for my most recent blog post. So it's called um, Pure as the Driven Snow, I think. So yeah, another another nice old old frame from Goodwill. So I've got a bunch of these framed, and I've got to go back to Goodwill and grab some more frames. Um, but I'm I'm framing stuff because I'm hoping to um, be able to announce soon that I'm going to be in an art show or an art fair, I should say, um, street fair, uh, early December. So fingers crossed that that comes through. Um, I'm gonna have to like scramble to get all my stuff together. I wanna make prayer candles and jewelry and I gotta get a bunch of prints made. But um, like really getting into the fair will be an impetus for me to get all that stuff done, which I need to just get done anyway, especially with the holidays coming up. I know that now is the shopping season, so I wanna have something available and I, I am really excited about the um, not only the paintings but the prayer candles I'm excited about and the jewelry too so with the jewelry I want I, I make shrinky dink jewelry which is super fun and um, I want to make like prayer hands and the Hamsa hand, um, hand symbol and the third eye and um, just a lot of symbols like that out of shrinky dinks and then on like little chokers and earrings so that's kind of what I have in mind for that and it'll you know go with the whole theme and yeah that's so I'm I, yeah obviously I'm excited about that um, I have I've done art shows in the past um, but I haven't really done art fairs the last art fair I did I was operating as Scouteru paper company and I was making stationery and selling like Mother's Day cards and things like that. So, and that was actually here in Chico and that was probably eight or nine years ago now. <laughs> so different person now and I have a whole different thing going on and I'm excited to see, um, yeah, what comes of that. So uh, I may be sending another little email here um, just to let you know what those details are if I get into that show. Um, and then of course I'm working on, um, getting into local, local coffee shops and things too. So you can come see my work in person. So yeah, that's, other than that, just been, just been working, enjoying the cool weather. It's been really cold in the mornings, which is nice. I should say chilly. It's really not that cold. Um, but this morning it was super foggy and just delicious. And I didn't want to leave the house to go on my run, but... I did and I'm glad I did because 
It's, I mean, it is just a different experience to go outside and be in the weather versus looking at it from outside. It's good. It's good to do. And with that, along those lines, I hope that you get into it this week, that you get messy, that you go outside, so to speak, that you engage, uh, especially with family coming up, you know, it's, it's, and, and I don't just mean confront, and, you know, I'm talking about like conflict, you know, we, things have just become so divided and it's, it's, it's just really sad seeing families divided and, um, and, and these things that we're divided over are really important, but there are more important things and that's treating your people with love and respect. And even if the things they say just seem totally batshit crazy, that's okay. Like, it really does feel like life and death sometimes, but it really isn't. I think when push comes to shove, people are better than we give them credit for. And so I, I really hope that this week you, you engage, you go outside, you go be vulnerable and you, um, and, and again, I don't just mean when, when the controversial things come up. I mean, you know, your crazy uncle, go ask him how he's doing, things like that. Um, love them for who they are because they're more than just the latest crazy opinion they've got. And I mean, you know, I'm speaking, I'm speaking, <laughs> I think it's pretty clear where I stand on some of these things, but. Oh, well, maybe it's not. I think it is, but it doesn't matter. The point is, holidays are a time to come together. And I think un unless we're, we're doomed to fail, unless we can figure out how to come together, and the holidays are a time to do that. So I hope Thanksgiving is kind of your trial run, your, your, just see what happens if you engage. And you don't have to say everything right. They don't have to say anything, everything right. And that's okay. I just hope that you get to enjoy the time you spend with your family and friends if you are seeing them this week. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving again if you are celebrating it. And um, I will see you next week. Bye.